Each year, the ancient medieval town of Spello in Umbria relives a delightful centuries-old tradition. In June, during the feast of Corpus Domini, the cobbled streets and squares are decorated with wonderful carpets of flowers. In the beginning, the infiorata was a carpet of flowers, usually broom with a green border of wild fennel created by the old women of the town in homage to the passing procession. So for us, the infiorata is a true passion, an important remedy to the inexorable passing of time. On the Saturday night before the festival, various groups of citizens can be seen bent over their flowery creations, laid out on the cobblestone. For a month, we go about gathering both dried and freshly picked flowers before spending an entire night here laying out these flowers to form the square. And then the morning after, the procession goes by and everything ends there. The infiorata is one of the most important signs of the artistic and creative abilities of the inhabitants of Spello and is based on a very sincere religious custom. I think this religious feeling always emerges in the end. It's there, it remains, it's something one always feels inside. Perhaps it's not that deeply felt, especially in our group, but I believe it's there all the same. You develop a certain feeling for the flowers. You have to handle for days on end. You get fond of them, and it's not easy to leave them there on the ground as if you were being separated from something you yourself had created. This magical feeling of being with others, this working and joking together, the fact that the night does not seem night, but more like daytime. A patient endeavor, one that creates a special feeling with the flowers, the colors, and the scents. A much stronger emotion than the tiredness you feel having been up all night and having worked for days beforehand preparing the flowers. A strong emotion that goes well beyond mere fatigue. It's morning now, time for a quick rest before putting the final touches to the delightful floral displays. Thousands of visitors come to Spello from all over Italy, even from abroad, to admire the floral designs and to take part in this intriguing traditional event. This surprising sight, adorning the streets, alleys and squares of Spello, with its extraordinary shapes and colors, the result of the skillful, patient work of the inhabitants involved in searching for, gathering, and selecting the petals of some of the rarest flowers to be found in the Umbrian hills. From among these truly beautiful works of art, one floral composition is chosen by a panel of experts, and the group that designed and made it is awarded a prize for their efforts. However, notwithstanding the competition between these groups of flower arrangers, the focal point of Spello's Infiorata has remained the same for centuries, to pay homage to the Corpus Domini procession. This is where the uniqueness of this tradition lies, that is, in the fact that the sight of these quite amazing floral compositions lasts but for one morning only. <laughs>